How's it going folks? Thought I'd knock together a little bit of a clip after Trixie asked me over on Facebook if she could um, yeah, get a recipe for how we were going to use some beetroots. I suppose to bring up to speed, harvested a couple of gnarly looking beetroots from the aquaponics system yesterday and posted a photo over on Facebook. They're a little bit too large or one was in particular. So because it was a little bit overdone, I figured the best way to um, process it would be to roast it. That way it wouldn't be too tough. Um, so decided to make a dip out of it. So to begin with, we're using the beetroot, quite obviously, that was harvested from the system yesterday, and also some of the garlic that we saved from our harvest earlier in the season, some cashew nuts, and also some Parmesan cheese as well, and salt and pepper to taste. So to begin with, I grabbed a small bulb of garlic from the braid that Bianca made up from the last harvest and gave it a little bit of a clean, just knocked off any of the loose areas and then basically just popped it as is on the tray. Now weight wise with the beetroot, I'd say there's probably around about four to five small beetroots in this one large one and one small one. And all I did with those guys was just wrap them up in some foil just to make a little bit of a steaming pouch for them. And as always, I forgot to preheat the oven, so what I did was I turned it on to 180 degrees or around about that Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, and let it warm up for a little while. And once it came up to temperature, I just grabbed the tray and slotted it into the oven. The garlic was left in there for around about 20 minutes to roast and caramelize, and then I removed it and just set it to one side on a plate. And once the garlic had cooled down, all I did was just cut the bases off the cloves and then squeeze them from the top just into a bowl and set them aside. And after about 40 minutes, the large beetroot was nice and tender in the center when I poked it with a skewer so it came out of the oven and I just let it rest in the tin foil just so it could sweat a bit to make the skin easier to pull off. So to pull the skin off, it's pretty easy. Um, it does help if the beetroots are a little bit cooler than they were when I was doing it. Uh, you basically, you can just rub it off with your fingers. I ended up using a knife to get some of the gnarly bits of the skin off, but it generally comes off pretty easy. I probably should have cut it in half or, or quarters at least and let it cool down a while first, but I was in a bit of a hurry. So once the beetroot and the garlic had cooled down, they both went into the blender and got whizzed up for a couple of seconds just to turn them into a nice pulp. Next in went about 200-ish grams of some dry roasted cashews, unsalted variety, uh, just to add a nice little bit of a creamy texture to the blend and just um, stretch it out a little bit further. It got um, pureed for probably around about 20 or 30 seconds and turned into a very nice light beetrooty color paste, I suppose you'd call it. After the cashews, I added in roughly around about half a cup of grated parmesan, the mayo left here, thank you sweetie. And then it was just blitzed again until all those fine little sections of parmesan disappeared in the dip. And once I was happy with the consistency, then I tasted it to add in the salt. The reason I didn't add any salt or pepper in to begin with was because I, I wasn't too sure how salty the parmesan was going to make it. So added that in at the end, gave it to my two taste testers, and they both agreed it was a very tasty dip. So I suppose I should give you a bit of a gander at the dip itself. And this is how it turned out. It's an awesome looking color. That's just Lizzie killing a toy pig in the background there. Um, it's an absolutely fantastic dip this time around. The garlic, I think I could have added a couple more cloves, but that would be about all I would do to tweak this. Um, in the past, we've used um, powdered garlic and onion, and I think it sort of overdid it, so I sort of held back a little bit with the roasted garlic. So I suppose I'm gonna to have to do a bit of a taste test. I'll only put a little bit on though. Don't wanna be chewing for ages. Mm. Abs bless you, Lizzie. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Nice and sweet. Um, only a very subtle hint of garlic, which is fantastic. So I think this is going to go down a treat at our friend's place tomorrow on Christmas Day. So um, a little bit of it might get um, eaten tonight in a minute once I put it on the table for the girl. So there you go. A bit of a look at our harvest and how we've processed it and used um, both some homegrown beetroot and garlic as well. Seeing this Christmas tomorrow, and you guys will probably be watching this Christmas day, I thought I'd wish you all a very happy Christmas as well, and a holidays, however you celebrate this time of year. Even if you don't celebrate it, I do hope you have a cracking one. And for all you folks who are following us and helping to support us through the YouTube paid mem memberships and also Patreon, Thank you all so much for your support this year. A few Patreon members, there will be a change coming next year after I work out a few things on the website and I'll be moving um, everything, plus some more bits and pieces, over to the website. So it'd be great if you could stick around and come on over and see what that's all about. So now the motorcade has passed. It's a very noisy side street today. I've only got one last thing to say and that is I hope your gardens are booming and your aquaponic system too. And yeah, I'll catch you next clip. Cheers all. Have a top one.
Haven't quite left yet, folks. I just thought I'd quickly add this on at the end here for you folks who stick around. Um, I will leave some playlists down the side of the page here for you to click on if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more stuff on aquaponics that you may not have seen in the past. Also, the chicken feeders and the wicking beds as well. So check them out if you're interested. Do hope you're well and happy. Catch ya.